All right, here we are for part two. Uh, we're gonna show the gill installation now. And here's my new hardware. I have the existing gill, uh, a new rod that goes through. Some of them I found have been tough to, to, to push all the way through. So I have bored this hole out um, to make it easier to slide through. Uh, and then we, I put a new stainless flat washer on the other side. Like I said, rather than the uh, jam nuts, and a new seven millimeter stainless um, self-locking nut. Okay. And that's how it will sit inside the, the uh, gill rings. And then the wobble plate um, screw has also been replaced also. I found that most of those are wore out from being rubbed on by the wobble plate. So I went down to the aviation department at my local Ace Hardware um, and found a metric stainless screw to go through with a seven millimeter self-locking nut and uh, also stainless washers to go on. So we'll show you how to put this in real quick. Also, a really simple process. And, uh, and once you do a couple of these and get the hang of them and have the right tools and everything in place, they go relatively quick. So we'll hold the gill in place. Uh, one, uh, one note. Uh, on the outside here, on this nut plate, these holes get wore out and the T on the rod wobbles in place. So I have taken my grinder and notched them a little bit further so that this T will ride in a groove and it won't allow the, the uh, rod to wobble in place. So there's the new rod in place. I take the flat washer and the seven millimeter nut on the back side of this rod, borrow some of your friends to help you put it on. Uh, it takes a couple fingers. And then we come in with a new screw and new self-locking nut to go through the wobble plate here. And this nut sticking through on the other side is no bother. Uh, it doesn't hamper with any movements or uh, use of the gills themselves, but uh, it gives you a nice, secure screw and when it's time to replace this one it'll be relatively easy to take it out and come apart and that's pretty much it um i hope this helps somebody and um you can put it to good use thank you